Okay, we're starting off here in, uh, there's the Bathsheba Community Center right in Bathsheba. And we're on a beautiful day as you can see. Look at that beautiful blue sky. And this is Barbados in the Caribbean. This is where you should be right now. Here, over here we have two wonderful tourists all the way from Texas. Yes. And we're not going to provide any more information. But they've <laughs> come all the way to Barbados to go on one of my hikes. And you can too. As you can see over there, the coconut trees in the distance is where we're headed. And uh, it's a lovely day. I don't know where it's like, what it's like where you are. But you need to come to Barbados and do one of these hikes. So we'll join you again shortly. Okay, we wanted you people on Facebook and YouTube to see this rock. Now you may not be fascinated with rocks, but this rock is actually a special rock. And as I zoom into this rock, you'll see why. Look at that rock. It is being supported by a very small... I don't think I can zoom it anymore, so you have to see it right there. But that rock is being supported by a very, very small pedestal. Fishing, fishing and boating is what uh, Tent Bay is all about. Here we're looking at Tent Bay in Bathsheba and as you can see it's a place where people come to fish and simply hang out. Okay so this is rustic Barbados for you and we hope that you appreciate these boats have recently been painted they're pretty colors as you can see the sun only brings out the nice bright colors of the boats and once again we are in tent bay so when you come down there and you are sitting in your little mini moak with your little tourist map of Barbados don't have it upside down you know make sure you got the north to the north and make sure you got the south to the south and then you can find yourself down to Tent Bay. We know this is shock treatment for you. This is a, what a shockorama rather than a drama. But we have here a dead black belly sheep. It's just dead here right on the beach. And uh, we're very sorry for the poor thing, but it has to die at some point. And obviously I don't know who it belongs to. Uh, but it must have died quite recently because of the fact that, uh, as you can see, it isn't smelling. I mean, if it had started to rot, I wouldn't be able to stand up here so pleasantly making my thing. So we're going to hope that it rots out and the sea carries it away before my next hike. Now over here are my two wonderful tourists. They're being very good this morning. Ah, thank you for your waves and smiles because it's important that people know about Barbados. They must, uh, they must come down here. Look at that awesome rock out there and uh, the sea moss here in this inlet. It's low tide today in the Atlantic. And we want to see you on this hike. Please book the hike. From the time you get off the airplane or even before, you say, where is Hike Barbados? I must find Stephen Mendes. I've made this trip to Barbados just to go on Stephen Mendes hike. Thank you very much. Up there is two living sheep. All right, I just wanted you to see the living sheep so you wouldn't be too depressed over the dead one. They have a little longer to go. Okay, thank you very much. Now, as you can see down here now, we have come to this part. I don't know if we have this in the... Uh, movies before but if you haven't seen this in the movies it's unfortunate the sun is against us here but at low tide we wanted you to see this particular thing this scene here comes out better this way because of the uh, sun the way the sun is if it was an afternoon hike we'd do it the other way around anyhow we're gonna have to just use a few of these clips whichever one comes out best so when we get back on the editing, we shall edit ruthlessly. All right, over there in the distance is Martins Bay. You can see the brown strip of sandy beach. 
I'm going to zoom in on it now. That is our first destination. Let us zoom in here so that we, when you look back at the video, you'll be able to see how far we've come. There is the sandy strip of beach in Martins Bay to which we are trying to go. And this is where we are right now. As you can see, the camera has quite a lot of zoom. Okay, the extra low tide, the extra low tide has afforded a, a special opportunity, a once in a lifetime opportunity to photograph the railway line as it once ran. So I'm zooming in there on the railway line. Okay, what you're looking at now is the remnants of the railway line. We're looking at the remnants of the railway remnants of the railway line Hello, I'm taking a picture of these sea grapes because I'm hoping that when I hike back this way they'll be actually ready to be eaten. So I just want you to see how they start out life before we eat them. We've come upon a guy fishing among the rocks. As you can see, it's a bit bright and sort of like shooting into the sunshine. And it may be a bit dark, I'll have to see how this section of video actually comes out. But I don't think I've yet shown you that humongous big rock just balancing there on the hill. There we have two guys. Out in the middle of the sea standing on a rock in the middle of the sea and we've turned aside to see this great sight now it's bumping uh, the, the video is bumping a little bit I'm trying to hold it steady but I'm on maximum zoom and they're far out in the sea and the wind is blowing very heavily why it's making it so hard for me to keep them steady. Now I'm gradually going to zoom back so you can see how far out they are in relation to the coastline. Now ain't that awesome? I would say that's spectacular. Hello again, we're still in the jungle. Up there is the berries of the macaw palm. Can anybody tell me if they're poisonous or not? We'd rather not be the first ones to have an accident as a result of some uh, mistake on our part. So please give us a true answer as to whether these berries are poisonous or not. Now we're focusing down here on the trunk of the palm. We're gonna darken it down a little bit. Ooh, look at those. Ooh, now look at those thorns. Can you see the thorns on that tree? As my wonderful tourist just said to me, it'd be a shame to put it with all the pain and discomfort. Then to discover 
that the berries were poisonous after all, which is why we want a good <laughs> verdict before we do anything so. Okay, here we are climbing up through the jungle. Let me just brighten it up a little bit for you. Thank you so much. This is a delightful experience for me as well as you. Okay, we're here back where we started in the Bashiba at the Bashiba Community Center. And here are my delightful tourists. Look, look at that. They're delighted. And you all had a lovely time. Very good time. Okay, well, thank you for going hiking with me. Thank you for taking us. Take care. Thank you. Great guide.